Good morning everyone from New Zealand. I want to just share a few thoughts with you from Paul's letter to Philemon as a means of encouragement, particularly to those who are in small ministries. Paul offers some real gems uh, of wise words, of pastoral counsel and of encouragement in this little letter of Philemon. Now, it's no secret to anyone who knows me that I have a real interest and a love for this little letter. There's something about it that truly resonates with me, and it always has over my adult life. But this morning, I want to draw to your attention, particularly as a way of encouragement, is verse 7. Yeah, you know, one of the beauties of uh, being involved in a small ministry it doesn't matter what, whether it's a small church, and by that I mean a church under 100 people. Um, it could be a home Bible study group or a prayer, small prayer ministry, where you only have two or five people attending. I remember many years ago visiting a church in a little rural area where there were only three believers, and I and a friend brought the total number up to five. And we had a wonderful time of worship. So anyway, Philemon, verse 7. And Paul writes to Philemon, who was the pastor of this little home church in his own home in the city of Colossae. And verse 7 reads, Paul writes, For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. Yeah, one of the treasures of smaller ministries is that there is a, a natural environment that provides for greater intimacy, greater opportunities to get to know each other better, to talk more openly and honestly, to pray together in more personal ways, and to discuss the real issues of life more. I know in my life and my ministry, it is Wednesday nights with our home Bible study group is just spectacular for this. We get into each other's hearts. And look at what Paul says there. He's thanking Philemon for the fact that he's the type of man that refreshes the hearts of the saints. And Paul all those kilometers away had heard about it. That's a great reputation to have. And so seize the opportunity. Make the most of it. Praise God for the fact that, that by having fewer numbers, you have greater opportunity for sowing the word of God, for sharing joy, for getting into each other's hearts, for administering the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the joy of salvation with one another and building one another up. You know, if you have come under any criticism by those in larger ministries, you can just put it to one side as nonsense. It really is nonsense. It's, it's just the voice of the enemy. Because this little church in Colossae was in the process of dealing with Paul returning a runaway slave who had got saved under Paul's tutelage and gospel message. And now Onesimus is being returned to Philemon and to this little church, house church in Colossae, and they were going to work out reconciliation. It was personal, it was intimate, uh, it would be heart piercing as they would have to accept him as a brother instead of a slave as before, and they would have to overcome certain mindsets. And Philemon was just the man for the job because he was already in the discipline of being a refresher. Well, I hope this encourages you, and I pray that you may have the joy of the Lord as you invest in the lives of others to refresh them in the faith and the truth and the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.